Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ebony. I am a human design reader, expert, and coach. And today we are talking about your evolution, which is a part of your gene keys sequence, genius sequence, and it is your conscious earth gate. So we talked about your life's work, which was your conscious sun, and now we're talking about your conscious earth. So, oh, if you would like to work with me, I'm actually revamping a lot of things right now. So stay tuned. Actually, I'm not even going to say that. We're not even going to talk about it. Okay? Yeah. We're not even, yeah. Moving on. So, <laughs> your evolution is really fun. Not really, but kind of. It is the exact opposite of your life's work. Okay? So, it's what's going to ground you. It's what's going to bring you back to your body. And it's what's going to remind you that you are human. Okay? Because what happens when you get really into and really in alignment with your life's work what happens there is that you feel almost like you're flying like you're you're doing the things you're in this gift frequency things are starting to happen things are starting to shift and you're feeling really really good right and then out of nowhere you're kind of slammed back down to earth and it's like like whoa like what happened like I was doing I was doing amazing like I depending on whatever your life's work is I was doing all these things. I was working through my shadows and everything was great. And now all of a sudden I feel heavy. Like I feel like somebody clipped my wings, right? And you get brought back down to earth because that's what your evolution is supposed to do. We are not just spiritual beings. We are not just these, you know, boundless, weightless things that are meant to be up in the clouds all the time. We have physical forms. We have physical bodies. We have things in this physical world that need our attention. And when we get really caught up in our life's work, we tend to not f remember that. So our earth gets like, hey, remember me? Yeah, come here, come, come here. Come, let me talk to you for a second. No, it's, it's fine, I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm not gonna hurt you. Get, get. You know, it's kind of like that. Not as aggressive, but <laughs> not as aggressive, but you, you, you get what I'm saying, right? So it brings us back down um, to earth and it's a challenging kind of energy because you're up here and now you're being pulled back down which isn't meant to hinder you it's meant to remind you of your strength it's meant to remind you of the strength of your physical form this the fact that you are in this 3d reality it's meant to anchor you here and remind you that you are you're missing some of your power if you're stuck in the clouds all day like, yes, that's great. Yes, that's part of what you're meant to do here. But you also have, <clears throat> my goodness, going through puberty. Oh, oh my God, I spit everywhere. Um, oh, God, what was I saying? Oh, but you have things here that need to be taken care of. You have a whole part of your power that you're missing out on because you're flying through the clouds all fucking day. You know, which is great, but you can't live there. You know, the sun is killing me softly. Um, oh, that's much better. Okay, so, right? So that is what the conscious earth gate is doing. It's bringing us back down. It's reminding us, of, reminding us of our power and anchoring us back into the 3D so we can continue to do the work that we're meant to do, but not just using half of who we are. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Now. What does this actually mean? Okay, so we talked about my life's work. I'm gonna give, you know, examples, like, as I do. My life's work is in Gate 59, right? So that is creating intimacy and creating honesty, creating transparency, and really just creating these very deep connections. So when I'm in the highest form of my life's work, I am constantly in connection. I'm creating these intimate bonds. I'm creating these connections with other people. And that feels very good for me, right? I am growing my space. I'm growing my tribe. I am being very honest with myself, which allows me to be very honest with others, which draws them closer to me, right? And my evolution, my conscious sun gate is in gate 55. So the way that I like to look at this, the way that I think will make it a little bit more understandable is to look at the center. So look at the center that your evolution is in. So for me, my, well, look at the, I'm sorry, let me start over. Look at the center that your life's work 
and your evolution are in and focus on that. So for me, gate 59 is in my sacral center and gate 55 is in my, is in the solar plexus center. So when I am feeling very creative, when I'm creating all of the things, when I am very high on that sacral energy and I'm, you know, creating connections, I'm creating uh, uh, content, I'm creating courses, I'm connecting with you know, potential clients or whatever, when I am in this high of creation and life force energy and happiness and joy and bliss, I am pulled back down to earth. Like this, that's me up in the clouds, right? I'm pulled back down to earth by my emotions. My emotions are what grounds me into the physical world, what grounds me into my body and what reminds me, hey, you still got shit to take care of. So my emotions are that grounding force. That is the center that my gate 55 is in. So I like to look at it that way first before we go into like the deeper layers. So when I'm high off sacral energy, I'm up in the clouds, yeah? And then I'm pulled back down to earth. I'm pulled in the opposite direction by my emotions. And my emotions are my grounding force. So now let's look a little bit deeper. What is gate 55? Gate 55 is the gate of spirit and it's also the gate of emotional fulfillment. So... For me, the sh uh, well, not just for me, the shadow of this gate, whatever gate that this is in for you, the shadow is a major, major, major trigger. That is a major trigger point for you. So the shadow of gate 55 is victimization. So when I'm up in the clouds, I'm high off my sacral energy and I'm pulled back down to earth by my emotions, that trigger for me is feeling like a victim. I have no control over how I feel. This thing is happening to me. I can't control this. I can't get out of this. I am the victim. I am powerless. That is the trigger for me when it comes to my my emotions and bringing my and anchoring myself into the my into my body in the 3D reality. I fall into this victim mode of oh my god, what happened? Why did this happen to me? Why can't I control this? Why can't I fix this? So moving out of that trigger, well, first of all, working through it because nothing is happening to you. It's all happening through you. Shout out to Jill and James. Um, love him. If you see this, hey, let's be friends. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this moving through the shadow of victimization, The what's interesting about this gate is that the gift and the city of this gate is freedom because there's no halfway point between victimization and freedom. You're either free or you're not, right? So there's no, oh, I'm kind of free. No, you're either free or you're not free. So coming to terms with this shadow and moving into the higher frequency, I have to understand, look, number one, there is fulfillment in every single emotion. Sadness, depression, anxiety, happiness, joy, there's fulfillment that can be found in every single emotion. Part of my job is to find that fulfillment. What can I learn from this emotion? What is this emotion trying to show me? What inside of me was that triggered this emotional response in the first place? Because that's another thing. Because I have this gate and because it's such a prominent part of my chart, I had to realize that if something happens and it gets an emotional response out of me, it's because there's something in me that at a, on some level, I believe that to be true. So like if someone comes up to me, I'm 5'4", right? If someone comes up to me, okay, let's say that I was like 6'3". Let's say I'm a really tall person. I'm not. <laughs> let's say I was a really tall person. If someone came up to me and said, you're short as fuck. Like you're, you're, you're the shortest person I've ever met in my life. I'd look at them like they were stupid and be like, what are you talking about, bitch? I'm 6'3". Get out of my face before I step on you, Right? But if someone comes to me and says something that I believe to be true about myself, that is going to trigger an emotional response in me, even if it isn't true. Like if someone tells me I'm stupid, if somewhere in myself I believe I'm stupid, it's going to trigger some kind of emotional response because I believe it. So the way that I move through life, well, the way that I, I try, I'm very hard to stay aware and try to move through life this, in this way, is that if something happens and I get, and there's an emotional trigger, that happens, I get curious. And that's the thing of moving out of victimization and into the gift of freedom is getting very curious. I have to be like, okay, whoa, ouch, damn, what was that? Girl, what is going on in 
in that? What? Hello? What was that? <laughs> I get curious about it. So that way I can be like, oh, she said that I don't know what I'm talking about. And that's triggering my belief that I am inadequate. Or I saw this other girl on TikTok posting about human design. And I think that she's better at it than me. And she's going to get, you know, everyone's going to want to work, work with her and they're not going to work with me. Oh, so I'm feeling inadequate. That's, that's me. That's my thing. So anything that happens to me, I have to go inward and be like, wait, what is being activated right now? And how, what, what do we need to do? To, what do you need? Right? How, hi, how, how are you? Are you okay? You need a hug? You need a hug? Yeah. So when I'm doing that, when I get curious about what is this emotional response and what happened to trigger it, it moves me out of this sense of victimization and into freedom because now I understand what happened and I'm not a victim to it anymore. I know what happened. I know how to move through it. And I know that it, it's not true. So why would it have control over me if I now know what the, whole, what the, what the dealio is, right? So that's what I, that is my evolution. It's being high on that sacral energy, being pulled back down to earth by an emotion, by an emotional trigger, working through it, realizing my innate sense of freedom, my ability to find fulfillment in every emotion, and then being able to move back up. And it's the cycle, right? Sacral energy, back down to earth for the motion. Sacral energy, back, it's, it's cyclical, right? So that is your evolution. That is how I conceptualize um, the evolution and I give you an example of my personal gate so I hope that this was helpful I am going to be continuing my gates series um, so look out for those videos I will get through them as quickly as I possibly can but there are 64 so let's you know temper our expectations <laughs> but I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video